All right, so, oh gosh, man. All right. I kind of, in some way, shape, or form, I'm praying that this goes good because I had some audio issues before going into this. Had I not looked at the little audio level or audio reading on the camera and especially on the road, the audio was sounding fucked up. I had to do some changes. Right now, I'm making, I'm kind of risking it. I'm not sure how this audio is going to come out. Worst, worst case scenario, hopefully, it should be good like, like normal. But in the worst case, I'm probably just gonna have to record afterwards, at least the audio portion. So again, I'm taking risk, but hopefully we should go, we should be good. But anyways, as far as with day 21, I, I, tried, I tried a different approach as far as with videos. If you guys saw last video, I think they're called B-roll with including videos on top of the on top of the I guess the audio recording that I had it's just something I wanted to test out who knows I may start doing that from now on but it was just mostly a test because it was day 20 and I kind of have in the mindset that at every milestone whether that's being 10 20 50 100 I want to have a different approach as far as with these videos so did something different I may do it moving forward but we'll see but as far as with Today with the photo, I went out into my backyard, spent roughly 40 minutes trying to take some fucking interesting photos. And then believe it or not, I took this one of a, of a frog that initially I found on the floor, but then I picked him up, put him on a log and then took some photos here. So if you guys were to see here, just no really special frog, just an ordinary frog here. I had some errors as far as with focusing, because this was on my 18 to 50 millimeter lens. It's not the, I wouldn't say it's the sharpest photo, because if we were to zoom here, I mean, it's all right, actually. We're looking at it, it's all right. But I had definitely some issues, but nonetheless, we got the photo. I think that by far, as, as far as the photos that I took, this one was by far one of the best ones. So, actually, I don't know, because, again, beforehand, I like to kind of, prepare myself as have a general idea like what I've stated when was it the uh, day 19 day 18 can't remember which video was it the masking uh I think it was day 18 but nonetheless I kind of went in kind of already have an idea as far as what I'm gonna do with this photo thankfully Masking does work here, so that's good. And I was thinking maybe even a crop. We're not going to change it. Let's just leave it as it is. And then if I want a crop, then I'll just crop afterwards. It's fine. But yeah, like I was saying yesterday, I wanted to do something different with day 20. Because again, like I've stated multiple times in that video, I didn't show up. I wasn't, or roughly 20 videos in, and I really haven't shown off my, my gear that I'm using, which for me, that was kind of bugging me a little bit. Because in all fairness, I probably should have done that since the first day. But I guess that's, I want again, since I wanted to do something different with day 20 and a kind of reaching a milestone in some way, shape or form, that's what I, that's what I mostly wanted to do. Now, with these videos, I, like I've stated, I try my best to to like the finished product. But I, I tell you, and especially I was looking back because it appeared here as I was importing this photo. I don't know. I have very mixed opinions as far as that day 19 photo. Although it, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm proud of it. I really tried keeping that that video roughly under 25 minutes because me personally i don't think it was worth i don't think it was really worth more than 20 minutes when i was editing that because i've personally for me as it stands that was probably one of my worst photos i've i've edited and i was i kid you not i was this close on not even publishing the the video because i figured you know why in the hell would anyone want to be interested in this? But nonetheless, I did it. However, am I proud of it? 
Mm, that's questionable. So again, un unfortunate as it may be, like I like I come to expect, it wasn't just going to be all highs. I'm, I'm sure, especially with that, especially with that photo. Uh, that was, um, yeah, pretty. I guess a low standard for me as far as with these videos and how I'm trying to make them more interesting, more entertaining. But for me personally, yeah, that was not a. I'll say to you honest as as it is no filters that's that was a shitty video but nonetheless the only thing I can do from from that video is learn what I can do differently so then hopefully in the future videos that I that I make I can not have that same issue right but again mostly because of lack of preparation really lack of direction as far as what I wanted to do with the photo. And then just on the fact that the photo itself, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was good, but lackluster maybe in a way. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely for me not a not a very good highlight. Not not a good highlight for me cuz I don't know, maybe for for in my case maybe day 9 is a curse or the letter or I'm sorry the number nine is a curse because day nine we had that nighttime photography that I, again I don't even want to get into and then day 19 was the was the other one that I just finished was the last photo that I up that I edited so I don't know maybe day nine or the number nine may not, uh, maybe a curse number for me right now but Again, I'm I'm not gonna put too much worry into that. Now since I've been talking, I've done some few basic adjustments as far as with temperature, white balance, then exposure contrast, all that shit. Right now I'm just on tone curve. Seeing what changes we can do. I think as far as for right now. I think we got a good balance, although maybe just a slight decrease with blacks. But I think as far as for right now, I think we got it relatively under control. Again, I was I'm really kind of debating on cropping the photo, just more focused towards the the frog. But I don't know, maybe just as that back um, having the the log as the foreground and then the the frog there. Maybe I might leave it as it is. But again, if I need to come back and crop it, I'll do that. No worries with no issues. So with, as far as with color mixture, I think really the only thing that we would really need to worry about are the greens, which in this case, it would actually, I wouldn't say we need to change them, but maybe just actually, believe it or not, just a slight increase on saturation, maybe even a little bit of luminance. Okay, I think that should be, again, very slight changes with the green, but I think that should be good. Now, again, with this one, it wasn't that I found the frog like like that. I, I purposely put it on the log, and I tried taking different angles and at different focal lengths and at different f-stops to see which one was the best. One error that I did make that I, that maybe I should have thought about as far as with this video is kind of like what I stated last video when I was showing off my Osmo action camera. I should have recorded that as a POV since I purpose, I intentionally, intentionally knew I was going to go out to capture a photo. I should have took along my action camera and done a POV style. So then that way here, you guys could have also gotten the POV. Uh, that was on, that was my, my fault. I really didn't thought. I didn't thought about that. It was only after the only after the fact that once I came in and just looked through the photos, I thought to myself, you know, this would have been a good chance to utilize the the, the action camera, kind of like as I was stating last video. Again, hopefully that should be something that I'm definitely definitely gonna do in, in the future, as far as with any future photos. But today. Today could have been the perfect 
the perfect time to utilize that. As unfortunate as it is, again, uh, the thing I can only do is just to learn from that, just to make sure that in the future it doesn't happen again. But who knows, maybe, because right now as I'm recording, it's relatively early in the afternoon, so maybe if I get the chance to finish this video and edit in, maybe I might actually go on and shoot a POV style video, I guess. And who knows, maybe that photo that I take today may be the, the photo I may be editing for tomorrow. I don't know, right? But nonetheless, I think that's, as far as with this photo, there's actually a photo that initially just raw, if we go back to the before, just raw, I really liked how it turned out. Although I do say that with many photos and I guess the, the finished product or the end result sometimes may vary. But with this one, I, I really can't complain as far as with what I'm what 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 were, what I was capturing and how it came out. I really actually liked how how it came out. Now, as far as with global, I am leaning a little bit towards the the warmer side. Although with this in the temperature section on white balance, I did kind of push it to the cooler side. Again, I'm just trying to have a nice balance as far as cool and warm because I see it with this photo yeah it's good to have it on on cool but it's also as well personally for me in my take it doesn't it wouldn't look good if I just push it all the way towards the cool side maybe having a balance between cool and warm it may be a good balance maybe right but I'll only find out after after any changes or really after the fact once I do a before and after scenario, right? Okay, I took some time to cut through it because I mostly just sat in silence just trying to think about a good balance as far as with all three. With the global, again, I pushed it more towards the warmer side. However, with the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights, I didn't change really shadows and highlights because I thought it was a good balance. I just barely ever so slightly with the midtones put it towards the cooler side. I think in overall, if we were to hide the color grading changes, although it's very slight, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's very slight. I think it's actually a, a good balance between all, between all colors. So as far as with this, I don't think there's anything else. So we're gonna head into the, the mask in which thankfully, again, thankfully, I don't even, again, I don't even wanna get into the fucking day 19. Thankfully, this one came out good. It only got the frog, which that's the main priority for this photo. So what would be my plan with this? You guys had a look at it. Although, okay, I, I, I gotta remember to keep on to, I gotta actually click on the mask. So maybe, okay, let's actually zoom out so I can see how it would it affect. So believe it or not, again, I don't tend to like, I don't tend to like my subjects popping out as much as far as with the photo. I just wanna make just subtle changes to the subject, but at the same time, I don't wanna make too much of a change that it's gonna pop out. So as far as with exposure, maybe a slight decrease. Contrast, I'll, I don't know why, but I tend to like, I tend to like the, the frog like that, a little bit a little bit of an increase as far as with contrast. With highlights, if we were to actually zoom in to see what we're affecting. So in some way, shape, or form, I would actually like if we were to decrease the highlights just ever so slightly. Shadows, we would maybe an increase. Yeah, with an increase with shadows. Whites. Whites, we would just an ever so slight increase onto whites. And as far as with blacks, maybe as like a very minor in, I'm sorry, decrease with, with black. So if we were to hide that, okay, yeah. Because 
the original came out a little bit exposed. All right, I actually like that. All right, so that's good. Temperature, color, and hue, saturation. Although we could make him pop, but at the same time, would I would I want that? If I re oh, if I really wanted to, I can make this guy a different color. Ooh, I didn't. I actually didn't realize that, but again, I don't want to make him stand out. I want to get him in his true color. I don't want to alter it to make it seem like I found a poisonous frog. Again, I don't even know if this is poisonous, but it's just a frog I found. So, and I touched it, and I'm still alive. So I don't. I think I should be good. But with actually with saturation, maybe just a slight increase. With temperature, uh, no, no, no. We're just gonna leave it as it is. So, changes were done. Just a very minor, very minor increase as far as with color and with saturation. So, color, that's done. Okay, I think that's actually good. I was kind of debating on if it was making any changes, but I think it's actually good. So we'll leave it like that. With texture, let's see here. Maybe just, uh, believe it or not, just a slight in or decrease in texture, maybe even clarity. Although with clarity, it would be better if we were to slightly increase it. Dehaze. Maybe we roughly leave it the same. There's no, there's no change for dehaze. Now with detail, believe it or not, I think we'll, okay, we'll just slightly increase the sharpness. I still don't know how you pronounce this, but with noise, what changes do I see? In all fairness, I really don't see any changes, but we'll just keep that at zero then. Let's just leave it as it is. Defringe. Again, maybe if we were to just leave it at zero. So in all fairness, we just did a, an increase with sharpness and that's it. So with masking, although it was just with this guy, I think we should be good. Now, let's see. Let's, for right now, let's just do a quick before and after. Before. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, I, l I like the changes, but I don't know if there's more that we can do. I mean, I guess so far the biggest changes would be the the frog. As far as with the background, I don't know if there's anything else we could add. Well, I'm sure there's more. It's just that, I again, I need to focus more on these masking. All right, so believe it or not, I was actually testing out some masking techniques as far as with linear gradient, but... um. I won't need to look in more into that, but as unfortunate as it may be, although it just may be minor changes. I mean, don't get me wrong, compared to the last photo that I've edited, which I don't even want to mention that photo, I actually still really do like how this one came out, especially how, as far as with the frog and what changes we made. But as a whole, it's not really much difference, although I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting it to me big of a difference so fortunately as it may be that's gonna have to be it in some way shape or form I'm kind of really disappointed that I wouldn't say that this photo came out bland but I don't know I just feel like I'm missing something as far as with making these photos more interesting more unique more special just so it can grab the, the audience attention more right I don't think just Mix in and slide in some sliders is going to be it. Again, that's going to be on my behalf on seeking more tutorials as far as how to improve photo editing. Although this was very minor, just mostly messing with the colors and exposure and contrast. That's basically all what it was. But I don't know, maybe this just opens my eyes more as far as once again, learning more 
of the Lightroom tools. Even though I would say I'm doing a better job as far as utilizing more tools than I did before, uh, it's probably still gonna be a better idea if I were to branch out more and to practice or at least even just learn the different tools, techniques that Lightroom has to offer. Again, that's just on my behalf. So unfortunate as it may be, again, that's it, but I still wanted to do something, even if it was minor. And believe it or not, I think this is actually one, if not the very first times I'm actually taking wildlife photography, if we're not including the squirrel one that I did on my first video. And then what else? As far as to the top of my head, I can't think of any any other photos that I've edited. I know back when I was only posting the raw footage, I know, or I'm sorry, the raw photos, there was one of a cardinal that I took, especially um, on, a, on a, I wouldn't say a winter storm, but during the winter, I don't know. Maybe if I'd done some editing, maybe that could have came out good, but at the same time, I wasn't into editing at that time, so it is what it is. But as far as with today, that's really all what I have, to be honest. I, I don't got really much else to say. Again, for the next time, hopefully I'm gonna try to include some POV um, footage as far as what what are the steps I do and what what do I really look into as far as when I'm actually taking the photo. Maybe to include on top of the editing process as, as I'm editing and mostly talk about it as I'm also editing, right? Again, it's just ideas. I might test them out, I might experiment them, but it's just only really to my taste as far as is it a good fit to the video or not but well I'll, I'll definitely see as far as with future videos but other than that i really got not much else to say and i thank you all for watching and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video